Hello guys, what's going on? Oh, trying not to kill this guy. Uh, welcome back to the Swerving Squirrel Motor Vlog. Uh, it's been a while since my last vlog and a couple updates. First of all, uh, you'll notice that I have a new microphone setup. May, well, you may notice. Um, hopefully the sound quality is a little better. Uh, hopefully it's not picking up any wind noise. I guess we'll find out today. Uh, but yeah, the second update, I did put on the frame sliders, if you can see them down there. Um, now I was toying with the idea of making a, uh, like an install video for them, but honestly the install was pretty easy. Um, the hardest part was figuring out how to get the fairings off, and there's already a pretty good video on YouTube on how to do that, so I'll link that in the video description. So frame sliders are on, pretty happy with them. Uh, while I was in there I... Uh, installed some pieces of velcro to eliminate some of the fairing buzz that this bike suffers um, so it's all sounding pretty clean right now uh, it's good I'm very happy with it pretty much just hear the engine now and no more uh, vibrations or buzz that's that on to today's topic I wanted to talk a little bit about the 50cc scooter that I used to ride I've mentioned this in a couple of videos already so I'll put up a photo of it here as you can see there were a lot of stickers on it <laughs> And as we all know, each sticker adds half a horsepower, so this thing was a beast. Uh, actually, it wasn't much of a beast. It was, uh, it had seen better days, you know, uh, especially by the time that I was finished with it. Uh, so there were a few things that went wrong with it in the time that I had it. Um, first of all, I would keep it not outside. Well, actually, sometimes it was kept outside, but, you know, it was kept in like these dingy old garages and stuff and uh, at some point it developed a hole in the exhaust pipe. I don't know if you know this but when you have a hole in your exhaust it loses pressure out that hole and it makes it really really loud so I had this 50cc scooter that sounded like uh, let's say a 200 with an aftermarket exhaust on it. Uh, it was super loud although I didn't really have any bass to the, the thing it was all all noise and no no gut, but uh, so I'd had that hole for about a year before I bothered repairing it. People could hear me coming from a mile away. Um, the other thing that went wrong was at one point the fuel pipe cracked, and I didn't realize this for a little while. I noticed kind of a gasoline smell, didn't really think much of it. Um, and then one day I'm driving along and I can hear sirens. I don't know where they are. I think they're behind. Yep. So one day I'm driving around, stop at a stoplight, and the car beside me pulls up and starts shouting at me, hey, hey, hey! I'm like, what? What's going on? And they point, <laughs> and I look down, and there's literally, like, gasoline kind of spraying out of the fuel line. Um, so that was a little bit scary. I didn't think it was quite that bad to start with, but it kind of got progressively worse, and that was the point that I noticed, or someone else noticed, to be fair. Uh, so I immediately pulled off, and I was kind of in the middle of nowhere, just in this residential neighborhood. There were no shops around or anything. And I was like, uh, probably five miles from home or something. I didn't really want to keep driving with gasoline literally spraying out the side of the bike just in case something caught fire or something happened. So I pulled off to a side street and searched my backpack and I didn't really have a whole lot with me but I did have my wallet which had a condom in it and uh, some zip ties so I opened the condom and kind of wrapped it around the fuel line and then clamped down a zip tie on each end of the wrapped condom and as you may know, gasoline or petroleum or oil products, whatever you want to call it, uh, they all attack latex, so um, it was kind of... I mean, it worked fine, but it was definitely not a permanent solution, but uh, to this day I can say that I had my MacGyver moment with a condom, so that's fun. Uh, what else? Alright, so more evidence that this thing was a pile of junk. Uh, the battery was dead, 
and pretty sure the alternator was something was dead so it never held any charge even when you replace the battery um, and fortunately it had a kickstart so it was never possible to start it with the starter motor you always had to kickstart it and especially on cold days it just wouldn't start you had to kick it for like a good minute or two and so one time uh, you know I was a young student got partying a lot one time I was uh, fortunate or unfortunate however you look at it enough to bring a girl home with me and I didn't have any other vehicle at the time and I was like yeah I'll give you a ride home on, my, on the back of my scooter it'll be awesome uh, <laughs> well first of all when you're taking someone on the back of TCC scooter top speed goes from 35 miles per hour to like 25 miles per hour and if you try and go uphill it's like 15 miles per hour anyway so the morning comes around and I go outside and she's kind of patiently waiting, expectantly for me to... She's patiently waiting for me to start the... What's going on over here? She's waiting for me to start the, the scooter, and of course, <laughs> the scooter doesn't want to start. And I'm kicking it and kicking it, probably for literally about five minutes, and she's like, I'm just going to catch a taxi. I'm <laughs> like, yeah, that's probably a good idea, so... Uh, it wasn't exactly the chick magnet that you might think it was, uh, this little scooter. It didn't do me any favours. Although, sometimes I'd be driving around and get people, get girls, you know, cars full of girls whistling at me and stuff like that, so that was fun. Um, haven't had that happen yet on this bike, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, that thing was a lot of fun. I had a blast driving it, um, which is partly why, of course, I got this bike. But. Just a few stories for you there. <laughs> uh, eventually, I bought a car, and so I, I still use the scooter just to like commute to work on sunny days and stuff. But I had the car as a backup, um, and I actually don't know where the scooter is now. Maybe it finally gave up. I know that it went back to my parents' place because it was actually my parents' scooter that they just lent me, essentially, even though they weren't really using it for anything. Uh, we're back to my parents place and they live kind of five minutes or ten minutes walk up the road from a beach and so they would use it as like a beach mobile to go down and check on the waves or check on the beach uh, so we do these little five minute trips up and down the road or less than five minutes of course if you're driving but uh, I actually didn't see it there last time I was home so I'm not sure if it <laughs> uh, still exists uh, in working form Alright guys, well, I think I'm going to end it there for today. Hopefully the audio was good. Uh, I'm not sure, I guess we'll find out. Uh, I'm going to try and be more regular with these things. I do have some more stories that I want to tell. Um, I made the, perhaps the mistake of telling uh, some people on Facebook, like real people in my life, uh, about this channel. So I don't want to tell too many embarrassing stories, but uh, we'll see what I can come up with. And uh, yeah, catch you guys next time. Peace.